And now a CBS Sport News exclusive. We hear lots of complaints after a complaint about the Pokemon Go app and how the people who use it are oblivious to what's going on around them. Well, tonight, some young Pokemon players in Coral Springs are being credited with saving someone's life. CBS 4 Stetch Gowan has a story you'll see only on 4. You have incense on? You can always incense, tell when yeah. people are playing Pokemon Go. What is a polybag of all their heads are buried in their phones as they're on the hunt for Pokemon. I got them! These four kids were playing Sunday, trying to capture Pokemon at Church by the Glades in the lifelike game. What they found was more real than they ever could have imagined. We just turned around this corner right here and we were walking and we were just about like right here and then we heard him go, excuse me, hey kids, help, help. Shelby Turner and Christian Macaluso didn't know what to make of the voice coming from the bushes at the edge of a crowded church parking lot. We were standing right here, and he was just lying right behind this um, concrete thing, like right on, like on that little hill thing. He was lying right there. Suddenly, the two got scared. It was a trap. I really thought he was trying to like lure us in and kidnap us or something. So I was like, Christian, run, run, and we both ran. We ran pretty far. They ran all the way home, then raced back with their parents. He was barely audible. He just kind of lifted a hand up, and, and I just barely audible. When Olivia Turner and another parent showed up, they realized that voice in the bushes was really an 88-year-old man who was in serious trouble. He was a very sweet man, and apparently he walks the path every day or a, a lot, takes a break here, but that day it just might have been too hot. Thanks to the kids, that man got the help he needed. Paramedics rushed him to the hospital. As for the parents, they're happy their children remembered their stranger danger lessons and learned a new lesson, too. I'm so proud that they were cautious enough that they trusted their gut instinct not to go into the bush area to find the man. And as soon as they came home, they told us. Hopefully they'll remember this and um, moving forward, you know, think twice, look around a little more and, and be a little more alert of their surroundings and helping others. The man was brought to Broward Health Coral Springs. He is still here. His family is with him. In Coral Springs, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.